Let's welcome Tahir Hemphill. Thank you, thank you. So I'm an artist and I work in technology. Um, and I have a project that I'm gonna show you today that combines my love for science, hip hop, and design. I went to tech, by the way, too. Any tech guys in the house? <laughs> yes. Um, the project is called The Rap Almanac. And it's a database that analyzes the language in hip hop. Um, there are 50,000 songs, lyrics, 3,000 artists, 5,000 albums. And a search looks like this. You type in a word, in this, in, in this case, power, press return, and you get back the results for every song in the database that uses that word power and where in the song the word is used. Um, and the other data associated with each song are, are of course, artist name, song title, but, um, release date, and geolocation are two that are really important and they'll come into play later on. So these are some analyses of um, rappers and their songs and they were scored um, based on how important those scores related to the data. So this is the first time that the content of hip hop is compared with the location of hip hop and the time in hip hop, and it gives a different context for the culture of hip hop. Um, and you can do really fun things once hip hop is in data form. And this is an example of um, mapping the language in hip hop. So this is a, a Google map of all the Staten Island rappers, so where they all live. And when I first um, put the data into map form, I got to see around the planet where each rapper lived and what and the, the places that each rapper raps about. Another project I did with the data was um, look at the most popular champagne brand mentions from 1980 to 2010. And that dip on the chart right here you see is when Jay-Z had his falling out with Cristal and pretty much deaded Cristal's popularity in hip hop. This project is looking at um, um, the 50 Cent and his career, and each line represents a song, and, it, and the analysis takes the song through different parallel coordinates. And this is a project, it's the text correlation between um, Jay-Z and Nas when they had a rap battle. So the lyrics on, on the left are Jay-Z's, the lyrics on the right are Nas's, and the words that they share to diss each other are right down the middle. So in short, the project visualizes hip hop lyrics as a cultural indicator, meaning how does hip hop influence the world and how does the world influence hip hop? and How does it show up in hip hop? So while I was working on this, I didn't know, but um, there was a, there's a place at Harvard called the Hip Hop Archive. And I was working on projects, posting them to my website and the director emailed me and invited me to come there and, and, continue, and continue my work. So I did so. Um, and I was also invited to go to Carnegie Mellon to add some more analysis to the, to the database, but I also wanted to make some art from the, from the data. And in particular, I wanted to make some, something sculptural. And I didn't have an idea really what I was gonna do when I got there, but um, I took a tour of the facility and saw this 15-foot robot arm, and I was like, whatever I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do with that. <laughs> so, while at Carnegie Mellon, I added more analysis to the database, and this is actually um, what it looks like to analyze a song. In the case, this is actually Drake's entire musical career. And you can see stuff like, um, um, locations, like cities are here, um, whether or not the um, song is um, negative or positive, and the words that they use the most are highlighted in this analysis. So data is cool, spreadsheets are cool, but not that fun to look at all the time. So I wanted to make images from this. So, and, and, uh, and basically data needs memory. Data needs experience, data needs um, uh, an experience to be able to tell a story. So an experience I had when I was about you, you guys' age, 
was um, looking at this Pablo Picasso light pen drawings, where he took a, a light pen and made drawings on, on photographs. So what I did was put a light pen in the robot arm, and I plotted all of the locations in an artist's career around the globe. And this is what it looks like. This is Kanye West's um, map. So from Kanye's first song to his last song, all of the locations he raps about are plotted. This is what it looks like. This is Drake, Kendrick Lamar, Nas. And this is all 12 artists. So finishing that residency, I came back to New York and opened up a school, a rap research lab, where this past summer um, I did a pilot um, um, class with six of my students in the upper right. And I showed them how to do data analysis, data visualization, and, we, and they worked on their own research projects. And the research projects were really cool. Um, and they made a Tumblr that has their research and their research projects. One of them, one student, Emmanuel, looked at um, crimes that were wrapped about, the, the number of crimes that were wrapped about over one period, and then compared them with actual crime rates reported for that same period. And he found that when rap rapped about crimes a lot, the actual crimes that were happening weren't, was, it wasn't matching up, they were lower. So I'm going to invite all of you guys to apply to the Rap Research Lab. Come join us in analyzing hip hop music and culture. Thank you. Thank you, Tahir. Okay, remember earlier 